Energy is fundamental to life. Today, the world is looking to nuclear energy for its electricity and to help combat global warming and ensure energy security. All over the world, the construction of nuclear power plants, or NPPs, is underway or being planned. This has been described as the nuclear renaissance. In the wake of the oil shocks of the 1970s, Japan, a country that imports virtually all its natural energy resources, has been pursuing a best mix of power sources. Although oil once accounted for more than 70% of all its energy, it is now the source of just 10% of the electricity generated in Japan, thanks to the country's active development of nuclear generation. As of August 2009, Japan operates 53 NPPs, making it the world's third largest nuclear generating country after the United States and France. The construction of NPPs in Japan has been steady and relatively problem-free. Japan has a record of building safe, reliable, efficient NPPs on time and on budget. In a typical project for NPP construction in Japan, an electric utility, that is, an electric power company, places the order and puts together teams, such as engineering and project management. In the actual work, all the parties coordinate closely, including the primary plant manufacturer and the general contractor. Various other companies in the supply chain also support them. Thanks to that structure and teamwork, Japan has achieved a high level of NPP construction technology and know-how. The time required for construction in Japan has been substantially reduced through the use of 3D CAD simulations, the simplification of on-site work through the use of modular equipment, and process management built around the use of IT, or information technology. In addition to these technologies, the impressive caliber of workers at construction sites, workers who could rightly be referred to as craftsmen, has made possible the construction of NPPs on time, on budget. There are three NPP plant manufacturers in Japan. That contrasts with the usual pattern seen around the world of one country, one manufacturer including countries competitive in nuclear technology such as France, Russia, and Korea. In Japan, these manufacturers, which must compete domestically as well, have polished and finely honed their skills. These companies are also expanding their shares of the global nuclear market. Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, specializing in pressurized water reactors, or PWRs, has an established cooperative relationship with the French company Arriva, which also specializes in that type of reactor. Hitachi, meanwhile, has joined with the American company General Electric to establish Hitachi GE Nuclear Energy. That gives it an enhanced presence as a manufacturer of boiling water reactors, or BWRs. Toshiba acquired Westinghouse Electric and now leads the world as a manufacturer of both PWRs and BWRs. The Japanese supply chain also supports the global nuclear renaissance. Japan Steelworks, JSW, has a 14,000 ton hydraulic press, one of the largest in the world and is a key global supplier of large steel forgings and castings. JSW has a long and respected history in casting and forging, the same technologies that are embodied in magnificent traditional Japanese swords. Having suffered during bad economic spells in the past, JSW now finds its products in great demand all over the world. Those are not simply the kinds of technologies that can be mastered with the right production machinery or processes. Instead, they require the hands of experienced workers, craftsmen, in whom the know-how has crystallized. Equally important to the supply chain are the many small and medium-sized companies that provide specialized components and equipment, 
that cannot be produced by the plant manufacturers themselves. Each of those companies is supported by the skill of its own craftsmen, craftsmanship being the traditional pride of Japan. From equipment and components, such as valves and instrumentation, to systems, such as water treatment and air conditioning, each company's skills reflects the know-how that each company has accumulated over many years, combined with original, often ingeniously developed technology. NPPs represent the integration of complex, sophisticated technologies, and the level of quality required for each and every component is very high. A defect in even one small valve has the potential to bring operation of an entire plant to a halt. Such components may not be visible or given much thought, but they are important both in terms of the plant's operation or performance, including the availability factor and exposure levels, as well as in terms of operational safety. Safety, of course, is the top priority, and NPPs made in Japan have proven themselves to be very safe indeed. The frequency of unplanned shutdowns is much lower in Japan than in other countries. In July 2008, the G8 leaders, meeting at the Toyoko Summit in Japan, endorsed an initiative putting the nuclear three S's at the heart of energy infrastructure development, namely safety, security, and safeguards. The 3S concept originated in Japan and is the key to the successful, peaceful utilization of nuclear energy. The Japanese nuclear industry is determined to play its role in the global nuclear renaissance, delivering Japanese quality on time and on budget. Thank you.